Thanks, dummy. a late start home guys well it has been a day it has been a day let's see it was good to see my kids not all of them but some of them it was nice to see um also too for our for our music program for our um Gosh, man, that guy's just like <laughs> zooming through on his electric scooter. Um, so the art teacher and I came up with an idea. Well, she she credits me. You're not supposed to go. I don't know. Go ahead. But you're not supposed to go. I did. I came up with this idea. Of, I hope he's not going to try to grab my bike. He's all, get off that bike, bitch. Get off that bike. So she was like, oh, such a great idea. Because I wanted to get posters around the school. Um, and she runs an art class. And I was like, oh, perfect. So if your kids can come up with something, I can make a little contest out of it. So that's what we did. And they came up with some super great stuff, you guys. I mean, really, really cute stuff. Um, I just love artwork from kids. I really, really do. I think it's awesome. Just, it's charming. Very charming. And some of it was very detailed. So that was really cool. So we just picked the best ones. And it was kind of hard for me to pick. Like, I just wanted everybody to get number one. Everybody to be the winner of the first prize. Which, um... You know, I was like, I don't know what to get them. And she's like, well, they like Starbucks. So I said, I'll get them a gift certificate at Starbucks. And she says she always has little toys for them, like little, little things. They have little, I don't know, competitions or something. I'm not sure what it is, but she gives out little toys. And I was like, oh, I don't want you to have to pay for all this stuff. And she's like, no. She's like, I already do it anyway. So... I could just give the second place winners this, you know, little little toys that I have or little things that they like. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to take care of the first prizes. And I don't know, you guys. I feel like she was like between 5 and $10. Like, you don't want to break the bank on these kids. <laughs> I'm like, because we have about maybe, f what, five? I said, no, we have like four winners, like from two different periods. So we have two first place winners from the, I think that's how we did it. Um, but it's pretty cool, you guys. I mean, they did such great work. And so, yeah, I want to give them something special, you know. I hate just giving them a gift certificate to Starbucks, but it's just the go-to, you know, because I don't know what they, they like and... It's just hard to pick for kids, you know, and everybody likes Starbucks for some reason, so they like it. Ooh, Stevie, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. I remember learning this song a little bit when I was younger. She's my little thing. She's my pride and joy. That's right. Let's go. <sighs> I always have to put my foot down with these people. Damn. Uh, come on, dude. Go. Stop being scared. So, Miss Lisa came today. And they did okay. This was my fourth period. They did all right. 
some of them didn't want to hold their guitar right and had to walk around. Then I had to be threatening and say, well, look, you know what? If you can't hold your guitar right, I guess you can't get points, can you? And they're like, hmm. Oh, I guess I gotta hold the guitar right. Over here, dude. Yeah, they were forced to hold the guitar right, some of them, in order to get points. Um, so, I didn't tell you guys, but last week before we left, I was pretty upset because the week before, they were messing around so much with the sub that, ooh, I don't want to go down there. I got to get over, dude. Um, they were messing around so much. What are you doing? Just go. Um, they were screwing around so much that the the sub got pissed and got really mad because they kept playing the... Dude, you're just getting on my nerves over here. Uh, they kept playing the bass drum, like, loud, which they're not supposed to do because they're not in band. And they're not percussionists. They're guitarists. Even whether they like it or not, that's their label. So, I got really upset because we cannot find the mallet, right, to the bass drum. The small, like, the, we have a smaller mallet and that's missing because we have a smaller bass drum. We have a big bass drum and we have a small bass drum and they were pounding on the small bass drum. I knew it was from fourth period because some people came forward and they said, oh yeah, this happened. And I was like, okay, so I need some names. So I got some names and they were like, yeah, we were messing around back there, but we didn't take the mallet. I said, well, the mallet's missing. It's missing now and we can't find it. And now somebody can't play their, the bass drum. Because they don't have the mallet. And they're like, oh, I didn't take it. I didn't take it. And I said, well, somebody did. Somebody lost it. And I'm pissed. And they're like, oh. And I know it was somebody from in here. So I said, I want the mallet back. The mallet better reappear. The mallet better reappear. Or be hiding someplace, or somebody needs to get get it. I go, I, I'm just done with this kind of stuff. And they're like, okay, we don't know, but we'll ask around. So, <sighs> apparently, one of our bigger boned kids was messing around with it, and then put it on his chair, and forgot about it. And I guess, apparently, he sat on it and it broke. He sat on it and it broke. He's not, he's not the smallest kid in the world, but he's not the biggest kid either. I'm just like, what? <laughs> How did that happen? So anyway, his friend's telling me because he's not here today because he went home sick. And he's like, oh yeah, he just wanted you to know that he accidentally broke it by sitting on it. But he was messing around with it. But he accidentally sat on it and it broke. I was like, and I said, well, but where is it? And he's like, he put it in his backpack and it's at home. And I was like, oh, great, great. I said, well, hopefully he'll be in this week. Hopefully he'll be feeling better. Uh, but he also told the kid to tell me um, if, you know, it's too broken, then my parent will pay for it. Uh-huh. Well, at least he said something to his friend. At least he said something. He was probably like, oh, I don't want to tell her. She's pissed. Because, I mean, these guys were just screwing around during the whole time the sub was there. So it's like, yeah, I was mad. And then coming back to broken instruments and shit, they broke a clarinet. Like, part of the keys were missing, like the silver part. And then somebody dropped it and damaged 
one of the bells on the clarinet. Thank goodness it was not one of our brand new ones, but still, I'm like, what the heck? It's like, I can't give these students any instruments while I'm gone. Because they'll just fuck that shit up. There's a biker behind me. They'll fuck that shit up. I see you, bro. I see you. So, it's like, next time I'm out, I'm going to be like, no, they can't, they can't have any instruments, no matter what. Because, uh, I know shit's going to get damaged. And I'm not letting shit get damaged anymore. Don't get paperwork. Because they screw around if I give them something online. So it's like, can't give them that either. I was just talking to one of the teachers that, one of the teachers told me, all those kids in your fifth period, and I'm like, my fifth period has this person, that person, she goes, yeah, she goes, all those kids, all those boys, she goes, I have them, I have all those boys, and I was like, oh my gosh, I go, they don't want to do anything, she's like, oh, no, she goes, they don't. No, they don't want to do shit. And I said, exactly. I go, I can't even believe how bad it is. She's like, I know, me neither. She goes, they don't do anything for me either. See? It's like, what the heck? You won't pick up a guitar. You won't pick up a, a book to read about history. You won't even bring a pencil to use. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like... You won't hold on to your music. You lose your music all the time. I'm always having to make more copies. It's like, I don't know, you guys. Uh, I don't know what it is with these kids. I think it's just parents and this whole epidemic shit that happened. It's like, these kids got either coddled too much, too much coddling going on, or... I don't know, but they're not very responsible. Some of them are. And she was telling me, she has, one of my best students is in her class, and I said, you know, that kid is like, he's so mature beyond his age, and he's so helpful. He does this, and then she goes, yeah, she goes, he is. She goes, it's, it's great having him in the class. I said, yeah. He's wonderful to have in the class. He's just mature and he's, you know, doing what I'm asking him to do. And then, you know, he's doing all this stuff for her too. And she goes, I feel sorry for him. And I said, why? She goes, because he's in class with all these clowns. And I said, yeah. She goes, they just, they're, they're like out of control. And I said, yeah, that's pretty much how they are with me too. Yep. Same old, same old. I said, yeah, I, I could see your point on that. Because, you know, other kids, like when I got really pissed and I was like, hey, you guys need to practice. You guys need to practice. You're my advanced group. You need to practice for this show. I'm tired of hearing excuses. You know, I am. I'm tired of hearing excuses. And I'm like, you need to do this work. You need to go home and practice. And you know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about, you know, practicing the parts you already know. You gotta practice the hard parts. I've shown you over and over how to do it. You gotta go home and practice it. Over and over and over again. And they're being lazy. So I said, look, everybody's taking their instrument home for the week. I don't wanna hear anything about it. And I, you know what? We're gonna have an assessment when you guys get back too. And so, they all took their instrument home, their guitars home. But when I said, hey, I need everybody practicing, do, is, and do I make myself clear? And he's the only one that says, yes. He's like, yes. And I'm like, the one person that doesn't need to practice, that knows all his music, is the only person here saying yes, that he understands. I said, does everybody understand? Does everybody understand? And they're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like, 
he's the last one that needs to say yes. He knows all his stuff. And he's already played for the class. Like he's like, oh, I can, I can take this at a faster tempo too. And I'm like, oh, cool, go for it. And he does. And he sounds great. You know, uh, he can be a bit of a show off, but you know, it's awesome though that he's, he likes it and he practices and I mean, the kid is like a straight A student and everything. He just, he's a good, really good kid. Okay. All of them are. It's just that they want to cut corners and they don't want to do this and they don't want to do that. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I don't know you guys. <sighs> I don't know.